Amos Palmer and Dead Billionaire, what do these have in common and what do they have to do with trademarks? Stay tuned to find out. If your trademark references the name, portrait, or signature of a living person, including yourself, you need to get the consent of that person. Step one is to get the signed consent of that individual that states, I consent to the use and registration by whomever is filing the application of my name as a trademark and or service mark with the USPTO. In the application, you'd want to note that there's an element of your trademark that identifies and names a living individual whose consent is of record. This can include author names, pseudonyms, DJ names, musicians, etc. For example, DJ Z identifies Anton Zalewski, whose consent to register is made of record. My favorite music artist is Jeremy Camp, who has a registration for his name with his consent. Some KFC registrations with Colonel Sanders states, the individual in the design is a representation of an actual person, namely Harlan Sanders, now deceased, whose consent is of record. Sometimes the mark doesn't reference a particular individual, and you can say so. Take Shirley's popcorn with an image of a person in the logo. The name, portrait, and or signature shown in the mark does not identify a particular living individual. You may also recall that there is currently a case before the Supreme Court that asks whether the refusal to register a mark for not giving consent of a living individual violates the First Amendment when the mark criticizes a government official or public figure. There's also another pending case in the Federal Circuit Court of Appeals where an individual filed trademark applications for All Rise, Here Comes the Judge, and a baseball-themed logo in Class 25. The Major League Baseball Players Association and baseball player Aaron Judge filed oppositions. The TTAB held that these marks are likely to cause confusion with previously used common law marks. Another potential issue in the case was that the marks could reasonably be related to a living person, Aaron Judge, and registration cannot occur without his consent. Some signatures that identify living persons that are registered trademarks include Jeff Ruby, Arnold Palmer, and Bruce Lee. Speaking of Arnold Palmer, his estate and liquid death recently had a span. Arnold Palmer is the name of a beverage that is half tea and half lemonade. Liquid Death claims that the estate of Arnold Palmer sent them a cease and desist for this Armless Palmer drink, saying they couldn't use the word Palmer for their tea lemonade drink. So, they changed the name of the beverage to Dead Billionaire. It's the exact same drink, they say. Now, Arnold Palmer is not a living person anymore, so questions about the use of names of living or dead individuals aside, isn't Arnold Palmer a generic term for half tea, half lemonade? Some places may call it half and half, but you can order an Arnold Palmer in any restaurant in America and they'll know what you want, even if the source isn't the Palmer Estate or Arizona tea, for example. Chick-fil-A has its own registration for the drink, Sunjoy. I'll drink to that. And I'll consent to the fact that trademarks are fun.